Hello everyone. Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about um, some of the things that are in the news. Um, on this channel I'll be discussing things that are in the news that surrounds our country, uh, some important issues, and then there'll also be just some light fun things from our entertainment industry. Um, just all kinds of different tips and all kinds of things that I'll be doing here on this channel. So I would like for you all to uh, like and subscribe to my channel and it's called Kendra's Talking, Kendra Talking. We'll be talking about lots of things that are going on. And today I wanna to start out by talking about right now, everybody in the country is talking about uh, Michael B. Jordan and Laura Harvey breakup. And yes, they are celebrities. So a lot, some people will say, "Oh, that doesn't buy, that doesn't phase me. That has nothing to do with me." But they are celebrities, and a lot of people like celebrity uh, gossip and all a lot of other things that are going on, keeping up with their favorite celebrities. But my the main thing I want to talk about today is these shootings that's going on around the country, and though they are shooting from every race, every age. I mean, young and old. And right now, over the last week or so, I think I've, I've, I know for sure that I've followed at least three stories on, maybe four, I think it's four altogether stories on our youth. What is happening with our, with, our, with our children? Where are our children getting these guns from? Put the guns down, people, period. But at least don't let our children get a hold to guns and do something that they will have to be, uh, live with for the rest of their lives. Okay, for instance, there's a case where this 10-year-old girl uh, shot and killed this lady that um, they actually live in this apartment complex, uh, the same co apartment complex, and these two had kind of had some uh, run in with each other from what I read um, that led to the uh, mother and the daughter going to this lady's house who she'd been beefing with. Uh, I guess to confront her about whatever else that was going on. Also, they put in the inside of the um, the the source that I read that she was intoxicated. So she takes her ten year old daughter with her. She's put a loaded gun inside of a bag and take her ten year old daughter with her to confront someone, and they get into it, get the fussing and whatever the case may have been. I'm not sure if they're who passed the first you know um you know hit or whatever but uh the understanding was that the lady gave the 10 year old a bag that she had a loaded weapon in and told her to hold it and so the 10 year old stepped in between them and pulled the gun and shot the lady and killed the lady in cold blood and the woman's fiance was there um, when the shooting and he said that the child looked up at him and said that she shouldn't have she should left my mama alone you know speaking like a typical 10 year old so it's like she didn't even understand um the uh seriousness of what actually took uh place and that i read that they actually took her uh away and they uh had her now up to go into uh custody of uh with someone other than her mom and the mom, they actually press charges against the mom. But this is a 10 year old child that's got to do without her mom. And now uh, for the rest of her life, when she really understand what has happened, this can be, be, be very um, toxic for her mental health. Uh, 10 years old, you guys. And then one of the next cases were this 12 year old just walked into this convenience store and he was standing behind someone who was checking out at the register checking out and um and he and so after that person checked out it was his turn and he told the lady he says put the money in a bag and she says huh she said he says put the money in the bag and he pointed a gun pointed his gun at her and she proceeded 
to go put the money, she was getting ready to put the money in the bag and show her that he was serious. He filed, fired rounds. He actually shot. And so he shot and she said, okay, okay, all right. So she got the money, put it in the bag and she gave it to him. There were people standing behind him, you know, and he was a uh, 12 year old who looks every bit of 12, very young. He did not have a mask on his face or anything just to show you how young their minds are. Um, he just went in there and there were people standing behind him. Nobody tried to uh, stop and what I could see from the picture there were men you know that possibly could have grabbed him from the back but they chose not to get involved and I don't you know people are saying okay this kid was uh, white so they don't know if they had you know lots of time people believe this has something to do with his uh, with the race you know with the mere fact that and they just acted like it was another day just a regular day, you know, that he walks in with a gun and, and nobody tried to do anything to apprehend him or anything. I'm not saying put your own life in um, in jeopardy, but you can tell from his um, being being so young and not having anything over his face to try to disguise himself that he, you know, that someone possibly in the back could, behind him, could have easily, even if they had to get together and took him down or, or moved in and took the weapon away from him. But hey, he's 12 years old with a gun. Now, what I did read was that his grandfather said that he stole it from his safe. So this particular gun was under uh, a lock. Um, the grandfather said he had no idea that he knew uh, the code to get into the safe. So, uh, but we got to keep our eyes on these young people um, and for us just know it's just like our whole country's gone, gone crazy, you know, uh, with shooting, you know, the gun laws. And right here in where I'm, I'm in Georgia, uh, they're actually uh, talking, our, our governor's talking about lightening the laws even more on the gun laws, you know, making it even easier for people to get uh, uh, a weapon. And so it's been, it's now being passed down even more so to our young people who will have to live about this. And I know all of you probably heard about the mass shootings, you know, the 18 year old that went to the elementary school and um, killed, I believe, 19 students and two teachers and people, other people was injured, 18 years of age, you know, so pay attention, you know, to where we're putting our weapons, pay attention to how our children are acting and never ever be so um be so um what's the word i want to uh use as a woman that gave a 10 year old her bag knowing that she had a loaded weapon in the bag we don't know the conversation we don't know if she said if she gets the best of me the weapon is in here take the weapon and you know she point we don't know that you know we don't know that but for her to give that and put that child in that position uh, and although she's going she's going to be charged for this murder still just the fact that the child no longer loses her mother to the prison system for god knows how long and um and the child realizing that she actually took someone life and how that can again uh Right now, we're that our country, not a country, the world, or like is lit dealing with so much mental health at the moment. So again, pay attention to the people in your household. Pay attention to your teens. Um, pay, and don't ever put a child in a position to take someone else's life. Don't ever be so irresponsible and hand them a weapon or something with a loaded weapon and think that their mind is going to tell them just how far to go. So that's what I want to talk about today. Um, and so if you got any um, questions or comments, please put them down below. And let me know what you think about right now, what's going on in our country uh, with, the, with these, the guns, you know, the shootings, the killings, uh, the robberies. All right, thank you. And again, I'll be posting pretty regular. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And also they'll be on my other pages. So make sure you share, 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 share. Thank you.